Mark came to the University of Washington as a leader. He was definitely the leader of our freshman class. He was leading our scout team. He was making us go watch film. He was a leader from the first time he stepped foot in the University of Washington. He was a supreme athlete who also worked really hard, fit in with the guys, um, and you know, there sometimes can be a little bit of an air to a quarterback, and Mark just didn't have that. Yeah, you can be the greatest quarterback in the world, but if you're not mentally and physically tough, and you're not a great competitor, you don't have a chance to, for greatness. Well, he had all three of those, and I think those were even developed more when he came to University of Washington. You know, he really wanted to be a great player, and there's a tradition of quarterbacks uh, that the Huskies have, and he was certainly a part of that. He leads by example, number one, but he's very well respected by his teammates, and all these things as a quarterback are necessary, you know, to, to earn the trust uh, in your teammates and staff. I haven't mentioned anything about his ability. He was as fast as a running back. He could still throw as well as the other guys, but immediately you just saw that this was a little different athlete playing the position. But the one thing that really added to all that, that magnified his abilities, was his ability to run and his quickness. We really used that right away. We started doing a lot more things with him in that first year. His ability to be able to make plays with his feet, he caused nightmares for defenses. So he had a lot of skills, and uh, the neat thing about him, he always worked hard to perfect him. Anytime you played against Mark Brunell, you had to have a plan for who's gonna be responsible for him if he decides to leave that backfield. It was a weapon. That class really was sort of the kickstart for what was just a great run of three or four seasons. Steve Entman, Lincoln Kennedy, Mario Bailey. I have a special bond with him. Um, I, think I, I think I got his first touchdown pass. I'm pretty sure of it. And people never remember, since they know Billy was one of our quarterbacks, that Mark is the one. Every time he came in the game, I know he would look for me. It's a special bond. I even think we have a flag outside together. My favorite story of Mark, we had won the Rose Bowl. We beat Iowa. I think we finished about fifth in the country, and we were clear number one, and Mark got hurt and uh, blew out his knee in, in spring training. Uh, when we first heard about the injury, I kept hearing that he's not going to be able to play again, but knowing Mark and his parents and where he's from, we all knew that he was going to come back. We just didn't know if he was going to come back and be the same type of Mark Brunel that he previous was. It was a dark time because Billy Joe Hobart hadn't emerged. No one really knew what he could do at the time. but. Watching him and go through it in the off season, during the season, and then come back to play was one of the most remarkable things you could see. It was amazing when he ran on that field. We wanted to make sure that he felt a part of our team and he was a big part in trying to motivate us and keep us on track to win the national championship. Mark was the quarterback he had been in the previous Rose Bowl, and then of course he had the next year against Michigan one of the greatest Rose Bowl performances of all time. Mark Brunel would have been a Heisman Trophy candidate, but there are no mistakes, and I know that Mark's NFL career and what he went through has made him even more special person than he already was. I, th I think when you're around him, he builds up confidence without question. I'm sure they saw this guy, and they could, they could figure out real quick, too, that he was going to be a great player. He raised the attention of everybody on that team. Uh, to a different level. You have to be really, really a good, talented player to do what you did. And uh, I think that was very revealing. Congratulations, Mark, on being inducted into the Husky Hall of Fame.